Now let us understand the network address translation in NAT. So NAT is a method that is used to translate the private IP addresses to the public IP addresses. It means it is used to translate a private IP address to the public IP address. See, in this figure, we have one local home network. See, 10.0.0.0 oblique 24 means the IP of this network with connected host is 10.0.0.123 likewise. Here total three hosts are connected in this network which connected to this router 10.0.0.4. Now the router outgoing interface is 138.76.29.7. It connect to the internet. So in that the datagram means the packet with the source or destination in this network have 10.0.0.0 oblique 24 address for the source and destination. So here this is our network address of this network. And the old datagram living means outgoing from the local network have same single source IP address which is known NAT IP address 138.76.29.7 which is different source port number. So in short we can say that here this is our local network and this is the outgoing outside of the internet IP address. So all of this IP address machine can communicate with single public IP address. These are the private IP address and this we can say the public IP address. Now let us see in detail. The local network use just one IP address as far as the outside world is concerned. Means here. This means that the only single unique IP address is required to represent entire group of the computer. Means the entire group of our particular subnet network. The technique was originally used for easy of rerouting traffic in IP network without readdressing every host. It means whenever data packets comes or forward to the internet, it will concern with only one single IP address rather than every host. So, this concept has developed to solve two problems. To solve the shortage of the IPv4 IP address, also hiding our network address which is 10.0.0.0. Let us understand the few terminology. The first one is inside local address. It means it is the name of the inside source address before translation. Means it is a private IP address of our network. The second is inside global address. The name of the inside host after translation means it is known as a public IP address. The next is outside local address. The name of the destination host before translation. The next is outside global address. This known as a destination host after the translation. So we can say that here the global address means the public local address means it is private IP address. Inside the host means within a local network means our actual local network. And outside the host means outside of local network. So in this network address translation router having the routing table we can say network address translation table this column denotes the when side addressing means internet side outside the addressing table this is the local area network means our local home network address table column so in this first network the host total 3 connected to the network 10.0.0.1 2 and 3. If datagram send, see the host IP is 10.0.0.1, see in this PC, send the datagram to the 
this IP address 128.119.40.186 80 port means it send a datagram to machine which have IP address this in internet. So the source address and destination address. Now it travel through router. Here in routing table entry the now source is will change to 138.76.29.7 destination address is 128.119.40.186 the source is changed because the packet coming from this port to the destination so routing table entry the when side entry will be changed and LAN side entry is the host number. The routing table it update. Now, if the receiving packets from internet, then source ID, the internet host source ID 128.119.40.186.80 port. Destination ID of this single public ID 138. It check in router table. This IP datagram will check in routing table over here if it is match with LAN side address 10.0.0 then it forward to this machine. See network address translation router change the diagram destination address this destination address will now change to 10.0.0.1 from this network translation table so now packet goes to the actual host 10.0.0.1 so this is the procedure of translation private addressing to the public address now let us understand the internet control message protocol ICMP this protocol is used when something unexpected occurs means if any of the error on something unexpected event occur then this event is reported by ICMP message which is used to test the internet this ICMP message are defined in various type the most of importance are listed below each ICMP message type is encapsulated with IP packets. So in that packet information we can know any unexpected problem occurred or not. Here the message different message type. If destination unreachable the packet could not be delivered. Time exceeded means time to leave field is zero. Parameters problem invalid header field. Source quench chalk packets redirecting problem echo problem, echo reply problem, even timestamp request reply problem. So these are the message type of ICMP protocol when anything unexpected event occur 